In Zambia, more than two-thirds of the population are living in desperate poverty. Around one in seven people are infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. When parents die, extended families have to take on orphaned children. When a family is already struggling to make ends meet, they can't afford school fees. Lack of education makes it very hard to get a job and can cause other problems. If parents can't afford to send their children to school, they end up taking care of them at home, which traps them in a vicious cycle of poverty. This means that some parents resort to desperate measures to provide for their family. For instance, a mother might purposely send her daughter to collect food from an older man, knowing full well that this would come as a price. The impact of these transactional relationships are reflected in the statistics. Girls aged 15 to 19 are four times more likely to be infected with HIV than boys their age. That's what made me want to help. PepAIDS is a charity that's been running for 11 years. We work to empower the most vulnerable, women, children, orphans and people living with HIV. Our focus has been on enabling people to make their own situation better, whether that's through equipping them with knowledge, skills or community support systems. So we've been working with community schools that have been set up by villages for the children that can't access government school. The problem with these schools is that they're run by volunteers with no teacher training and they have hardly any resources to teach with, so the resulting education is woefully inadequate. Our Schools of Good Hope project equips volunteers with the skills they need to teach and provides schools with the most basic resources. By doing this, we have dramatically improved the quality of education available to over a thousand of Zambia's most marginalised children, giving them a lifeline out of poverty. PepAIDS has no paid staff in the UK. Virtually all our money goes directly to projects on the ground. So we're just one small part of a much bigger movement bringing about change. In Zambia, we work with other local organisations and in the UK, we've been partnering with schools, all of whom are helping us play our part. So ultimately, what we want to do is to enable people to break free of poverty, make healthy decisions and improve their own lives. Yeah!